Hey everyone, Lucy and Tam here at Paris Games Week. We are here, you might be able to tell, in Sony's kind of behind closed doors area. Tomorrow has just been playing the Shadow of the Colossus remake? Remaster? It's a remake more than a remaster because yeah. it is considerably changed and also not very much changed. Brilliant. Which is, as a fan of the classic PS2 game, which mm -hmm. is one of the greatest games of all time, in my humble opinion. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think people are going to argue with you. Yeah, I don't think. And if they do, like. As you the ain't Bedminster. Win. As no the weapons, Bedminster, no mates. No weapons, no mates. I'll see you there. Um, I don't think. I think that's exactly what fans of that game want. They want just touch up here and there. Like they don't want fundamental massive changes and that's largely what it is. So I played uh, the first Colossus, mm -hmm. uh, the third Colossus. Skipping on, skipping yeah, on number two. Yeah, um, there was the option to play the fifth one as well but we ran out of time. Mm -hmm. um, and it plays pretty much exactly how you want it to play. When I was playing it, there was actually one change that to the controls that I only, I didn't pick up on, but the person who was demoing it or standing by me as I played it, I asked him, I said, there's something that feels different about the controls, I can't pick up what it is. And the only thing it was is the jump button had been moved from triangle to X. And okay, that's kind I mean, of like a very natural change that no one's going to It is. Yeah. I mean, especially over the course of gaming over the last 10 or so years, mm -hmm. it just, you don't, you rarely see yeah. jump so like, triangle. So the, like, the he felt the need to justify this and I was like, dude, you know what I have to, but he was like, it was X on The Last Guardian, mm -hmm. um, which is why it changed. And obviously with games like Uncharted, yeah. which another Sony property, jump is on X. So that's kind of like familiar and easy for muscle memory. That's the only real change to the game itself in yeah. terms of how it plays. Um, obviously, it runs at a consistent frame rate now. Lovely stuff. Um, and you can feel a lot of that. Mm -hmm. um, I played a lot of Shadow of the Colossus, so kind of like the way it flows and the way kind of like my muscle memory reacts, it's kind of the, the performance of that game on PS2 is also burned into my muscle memory, so I know at what point to jump and that kind of stuff. Did you play it on um, PS3? I did not play on PS3, okay. no. So I played just the original one, and um, it felt it felt a little quicker, mm -hmm. but it didn't feel like I was messing things up or anything yeah. like that. You can see in some of the gameplay that we capture <laughs> that um, I'm, for the most part, on point. There's a few moments where I slip off and like just time a grab very late, but um, for the most part, it ran the same. Yeah. Um, because of the consistent frame rate, it feels like Wanda kind of picks up momentum a lot quicker. Mm -hmm. um, Agro is still a bit of a pain to control, but it's one of the things that I quite like about that game. It adds a, yeah. an element of skill to kind of like doing multiple things while you're on Agro, like to put the sword up and trying to yeah. figure out where you're supposed to be going. And it also kind of encourages you to micromanage when you're doing showy stuff like standing up on Agro while firing a bow and arrow, for example. Um, yeah, so that, that kind of felt good. At the same time, it didn't feel Feel too different. Yeah, um, I was going to say because you can't change too much yeah, of it. Yeah, and you have to keep it. Some, the, a, a game like that, you have to kind of keep the, the soul the, of it. The soul of it is perfectly intact. It's mm -hmm. clearly been respected. The biggest change is visually. Yes, and it looks stunning. Like it looks really, really nice. Um, it looks like they've clearly paid attention to the kind of the kind of aesthetic and mood that they mm -hmm. wanted to get out that the original team Ico team wanted from and Ueda san wanted from Shadow of the Colossus and all, all the kind of visual representation visual updates I've had that in mind mm. um, so like it feels like there's a lot more fog in the area yeah. so like one of the things in the original game was like there wasn't everything wasn't always clear there was like a, a hue of fog or a haze to everything mm -hmm. and as you kind of go deeper into the world that clears um, and because everything's nicely sharper now and the draw distance is better you kind of technically can make out things better. Yeah. But it seems like they've increased the amount of fog, so it still has that kind of like mystery in the distance yes. kind of feel to it, which I really, really appreciate. Otherwise, it looks really, really nice. Like I zoomed in on um, Wanda's face for a bit, and for the first time, you can actually make out facial features, which is really kind of weird and awesome because usually it's kind of like a flat texture mm -hmm. in the original versions. But that was really cool. So like, there's not much to say about it. I think the thing that like stuck with me was I told the guy uh, that I was speaking to, like he was like, if you play the game and you don't feel like it's any different that's not a bad thing that means we've done our job yeah. and to me that's like that 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 rings you know kind of true for me that resonates with me it feels the same it plays the same it's still like generating the same kind of emotions when I'm stabbing a, a lump in the throat. yeah when I'm stabbing a colossus in its head so I'm really really excited about this and yeah I'm looking forward to getting my hands on that game all right well from more from Paris games week make sure you keep your eyes peeled to gamespot.com save the colossi Justice for the Colossus. Justice for the Colossus.